Uh, obviously, the fourth quarter was one of our best quarters. Uh, you know, um, they beat us up on the glass again, second chance points. It was a four point game going into the fourth, and then uh, we couldn't get anything done offensively. We couldn't slow them down. You know, Mark and Zach had their way, uh, especially I thought Gasol in the second half was, was obviously a big problem. The shot at the end of the uh, shot clock on the base out of bounds there was, was a big one, point six, I believe. And, Seemed to give them some energy. They got to the line a lot. We fouled too much. Um, we can't play the way we want to if we're going to put them on the line all the time. Um, but the difference, obviously, was was the glass and and, and Gasol and, and Zebo um, kind of controlling the game. I thought Prince got them off to a good start. Uh, Pondexter hurt us again. Uh, Tony Allen hurt us again, and uh, Conley's penetration. So uh, you know, it's, uh, we got to go back. We got to take care of business in Game Five at home in front of our fans, um, but there's no question we're going to have to get back to playing the way we did the first couple games. Jimmy, why is it you guys can't be done with that here? After two games, the road, you guys talked about it, like film. What changes? Why is it working better? You know, it's just, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, getting bodies on guys is one thing, but, you know, Zach and uh, Mark are, are big, heavy guys, and uh, if you don't go at them with the contact, they push you underneath the basket, and if the ball comes up high, they're going to get it. And they, they take up a lot of space. And, you know, uh, they use their, their arms and their body and everything they can well to create space to go get the basketball. But we got to do a good job with our guards getting back in, whether we got to face guard them or whatever like we did in game one. But it's a constant discussion, a constant effort on everyone's part um, to do it. We just we have not done it well the last couple of games. You guys didn't really get anything from any starter other than Blake or Chris. What did you see with those guys? And, and was, was there hesitation there? Or I mean, you know, just you know, Karan missed some shots he usually makes. Never really got into the flow of the game. Chauncey the same thing. Uh, you know, uh, DJ, uh, you know, had the one put back or one drop off uh, on the jump hook, but. You know, um, rebounding in the physicality of the game, and we just had off games. That's that's part of it. So we got to regroup. You know, I thought our bench, you know, came out in the second quarter, got us back into it, um, did a very good job. And then, you know, we were right in there in the third quarter, but then, you know, we had that stretch in the fourth where we just couldn't control them well enough. They made a run. We didn't, we didn't have a good answer to it, and then that's what happened. So the series is tied up, and we got to go back and. And, and obviously do a better job in, in a few areas that are key in this series. Coach, John C. Smith, Kevin Curry, Yahoo Sports, in Memphis. Talk specifically about the player Chris Paul after the subpar game in game three and the eight points. Came out very aggressive in the first half, had 14 points, only five points in the second half. Did the Grizzlies defense uh, take away some of the things you like to do out there? Well, we have to do a good job freeing them up. He has to do a good job staying aggressive. Um, we have to do a good job screening. Um, they put different defenders on, but it's nothing he hasn't seen all season. Uh, and he just has to continually attack. But you know, we we uh, you know we miss some some wide open shots we usually make. Uh, we miss some shots around the basket. Um, but the, the, the game is is in rebounding and second chance uh, against Memphis, and we know that. And we did it well for a couple of games, and the last couple um, we haven't. So we got to regroup, find the energy, find the attitude, find the aggressive nature we need to play with, with the intensity level on a consistent basis. Because that's what's going to take uh, against them. Talk about DeAndre and and Mark and kind of why that matchup has, has been such a problem for DJ at this point. Well, I mean, Mark is one of the top players in the league. I mean, he's one of the top centers. I mean, he can shoot the basketball, take it off the dribble. He's a quarterback out there. Um, you know, he takes up a lot of space, and he's Defensive Player of the Year for a reason. So, uh, you know, we just got to make him play. You know, pay for. You know, double team Blake at times. Um, we got to set. You know, DJ's got to set really good screens to free our guard. Wesley's got to help them and get them on the glass that way. Um, but you know, this, you know, the soul goes into a lot of teams and a lot of players. So I mean, he's one of the top players in the league for a reason. All right, thanks, everyone. Thank you.